Um, hey, Elena, thank you for joining me today. It's a great honor to have you here. Uh, I know you since we were uh, in middle school and that's, that's really cool because here we are now, a few years later, each and one of us having their own careers. And today we will discuss about your career. Um, as much as I know, you are working in television, which I find it pretty cool. And I, I honestly admire you. Now, I would like to ask you, what are top three qualities that you need to have for a job in television? Well, uh, I think you have to be ambitious, but uh, you have to be ambitious in general at any job, not only in television. But related to that, you also have to be uh, patient because uh, there will be some things that uh, you will think you'll get easier, but uh, it's not like that. Maybe you see it on TV and you will say it's pretty easy to get there, but there will be you have to uh, work really hard to get there. And there are some steps that um, you have to, to take. You need baby steps. And you have to be patient and, uh, and ambitious. And um, you have to be ethical. It's uh, one of the main char characteristics of uh, a journalist. You have to have principles and to know why you do what you do. Where do you think that at the moment television stands in people's life? And where do you think television will be in the next few years? Media, it's... a uh, large domain and uh, awesome is like a show um for me for me it's like a show and i think for for everybody else i think people are aware that media is everywhere you see you see television everywhere but you are you actually people actually don't know what's behind it it's not just like the image there are lots of people uh in the background that are making that happen and um, yes, I know that people are aware that media is everywhere, but um, I think at the moment they deny it. Uh, unfortunately, there are young people that don't want to watch television anymore because um, they think there is a lot of propaganda and uh, that media um, is not for them. And it's sad to know that because actually, um, that's the core of journalism. It's working for the people. It's giving information to the people, accurate information. At least this is what why I'm doing it. This is why I'm a journalist. And um, yes, I had a period when I didn't want to have a TV. I didn't trust the media. But um, you have to select what you trust and what you don't. You don't have to believe everything that you hear. There are some publications that are giving you the truth and maybe you have to stand by them. And we have to understand that if there will not be media, we will not know what, what uh, is happening in the world. Because I this is a thing that um, I learned in, uh, in the university and also you did, that media is the fourth power of the state. And again, this is why I'm doing it. And I'd like people to, to trust us, to trust the journalists, because you know that there are some shady things happening, that um, the politicians do, do shady things, and you need somebody to show you which is the truth. And you have to select what you choose and what you don't. But I think in the future, media will go more on, on internet because uh, people don't have time now to watch the news. Uh, maybe they read more they, because I also, I, I, um, I worked in the written press and um, they don't have time for this. So maybe you just have to, uh, to read really quickly what's happening. So lots of televisions already have online apps and you just go there and yeah. read what you want or watch what you want. And there are also some um, uh, online publications that um, are going live on Facebook for the main events, for the important events. And I think uh, it will be like that in the future, more on the, on the internet. Uh, well, uh, what are the pros and cons of working in television? 
Well, as I told you, it's a very interesting domain. It's like a show. And for me, every day, it's an, it's an adventure. I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. For example, yesterday, I was coming back from an event. I was going uh, into the newsroom. And uh, on my way back, I got a call and said, oh, you have to turn, turn back and go to another event. And uh, it's not like a job from nine to, to five. Um, it's like media, media, it's everywhere. My job is everywhere. And um, it's really interesting. It's, uh, it's spontaneous. It's just like that. Uh, I get to know things before other people. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I get to know people. I uh, read yesterday, I don't remember where, but I read something that uh, as a journalist, you get to know uh, people that you would not know even if you would be a, the president. Uh, I get to know stories and to tell uh, these stories to the people. Uh, and uh, the disadvantages are that also, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't have a schedule. <laughs> Um, I'm always on the run. Um, I get calls during the night, like there's a breaking news. You have to come to the newsroom. And uh, I get to sleep less. And it's not like you come back from work and you leave your work there at the door and you just go sleep. No, yeah. because the situations that the situation that uh, um, you you left today it will not be the same tomorrow so you have to stay updated and is this is this pressure you you're just yeah. um, surrounded by the media by the informations and you just can't have uh, your head clear it's yeah just like that but are the the risks and the responsibilities of this job okay um, I know that you're really passionate about your job as a reporter. However, if you had a chance to take a new career path, would you still choose television? Uh, I think yes. It's one of the, the most beautiful um, jobs. But as you know, I wanted to get in the law school. Um, and I don't, I, I still have a little bit of regrets I don't know if I would choose that yeah. but um, I'm glad that I had to understand what's behind the camera and as I told you it's a lot of work and it's not like just what you see there is a domain it's a field that that's so uh, so large and I'm glad that I got to know how is it actually. So it will be either that or the law. Or the, the, the oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what would be your advice to someone who is interested in working in television? Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> it's I'm funny sorry. because... <laughs> During the during the um, the faculty, I got some questions like, um, you know, uh, how is it like you just uh, what did you you read from the screen and that's what you learn in school and they was like, it's not like that. We we learn a lot of the journalists, uh, the 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 professional journalists have to know a lot of things, and uh, I have uh, a lot to work until I will get there, but um, you have to be um to know what you say and you have to to have this knowledge so that you can um, go in front of the people and tell them this you can't be unprepared so uh also i told you it's a lot of sacrifice you don't have a lot of time for yourself so i would say to um, to somebody that wants to get into this field that you have to be passionate about it it's not um, it, it probably is something that you have uh, in yourself and uh, you have to know why you do it you have to have principles it's not like just like oh i want to be uh, on the screen it's not yeah. like that it for that doesn't make sense um journalism is about giving to the people you work for the people you have to know why you do it i would say yeah. them to them that they have to think why they want to get there 
Okay, and uh, we have gone to our last question, which is, how do you think we can differentiate a good TV channel from a bad one? Oh, that's, that's hard. <laughs> you have to trust those people. You, uh, you need to be careful what they, uh, they say to you, how they um, approach the public. If they work for the people, or there is, or, or if there's only propaganda, um, this is a tricky field. Uh, we all know television is a tricky. Yeah. So you just have to choose the information. You have to um, uh, inform to to get information from uh, other publications. Also, mm, not to watch only one TV channel. You have to. Uh, see what all of them are giving to you and to to see which suits you more maybe you know you have to see which suits you yeah. more I think okay uh, well uh, this was it thank you very much for joining today and thanks for accepting thank to take part in this interview uh, I really appreciate it and I wish you the best of luck thank you same okay bye